There was some interesting news that came out um, in the New York press this past uh, week. Jerry Capace over at Gangland News um, was able to uh, illuminate uh, some some interesting tidbits from the New York FBI office that I want to share. Um, and it's related to what's been a almost decade long feud between the FBI offices in New York and Philadelphia um, related to Skinny Joy Merlino, uh, the most compelling mafia Don in America, uh, the Instagram Don, as I call him, the the brand new uh, podcaster uh, of, of uh, his show, The Skinny, on YouTube. We're living in some crazy times in 2023 where you have a uh, a godfather that's, that's YouTubing. This would be like if John Gotti in 1988 was uh, hosting a television show. But, uh, you know, getting away from the surreal nature of that, um, we've known for about seven or eight years that there was acrimony uh, between the FBI offices in New York City and Philadelphia related to a 2016 racketeering indictment that they uh, referred to, the federal government referred to as the East Coast LCN case. They took down uh, leaders of five separate families, four of the five uh, New York families, and then Joey Merlino. Uh, who's been living down in Florida uh, since 2011 when he got out of prison on his uh, most recent um, serious case, his his racketeering conviction from 2001. Um, and he moved down to Florida and the New York FBI was investigating Joey uh, down in Florida as well as uh, when he was coming up to New York to uh, meet with the Genovese crime family and uh, some of the Lucchese's. So we knew when the case dropped in the summer of 16 that the Philadelphia FBI felt uh, kind of blindsided by it. Uh, they, they, they weren't kept in the loop. Uh, they were shielded, I guess, from what New York was doing. And they felt that New York owed them uh, at least lip service, at least, you know, if not including them in the investigation, at least for them to uh, receive word of what was going on. But New York didn't want... Philadelphia or the Miami FBI office to know that they were investigating Merlino. Uh, Miami is uh, kind of the, the boots on the ground for Joey because he spends most of the year in South Florida, but the Philadelphia office still has Joey prominently on their, um, on their dartboard. Uh, he's public enemy number one. He claims he's no longer a mob down. He's retired. He's been retired since he got out of prison uh, over a decade ago, but the FBI still believes He's the head honcho of the Bruno Scarfo crime family. What's most interesting about this news, I kind of buried the lead, I apologize, is that the New York FBI office was involved in subterfuge. It's coming out in a new book called War Against the Mafia that's uh, being going to be published uh, around Christmas time, written by a retired FBI agent, Mike Campy, is telling the story that uh, not only did they keep Philadelphia... Uh, FBI office in the dark related to uh, communications, they took their investigation that uh, was on the FBI mainframe computer. So anybody that has, you know, federal law enforcement security clearance around the country can get into the mainframe and see what investigations are going on around the country. Um, but the New York office intentionally removed the any reference to Joy Merlino investigation from the mainframe. So the Philadelphia and Miami offices wouldn't be able to get out of the computer and see that anything was going on with one of their targets. Uh, this, I'm guessing that the Philadelphia FBI office already knew this and the public didn't, but it just shows you to the, the lengths that some of this gamesmanship between different law enforcement agencies, even within, it's normally these robberies pop up between federal and state, but you can see within federal law enforcement, you can have uh, this kind of stuff pop up too, where, where one group feels like they're being undermined by another. Uh, George Anastasia uh, and Dave Schratweiser reported right when this happened back in 16, 17, um, that uh, the, the Philadelphia office was at odds with the New York office. Joey ended up uh, going to trial on, on, the, on the East Coast LCN case. 
hung jury. He eventually pled out to one gambling count, did about a year in jail. Um, he's out now podcasting. And then the other piece of information that came out in uh, Jerry Capace's gangland news story, which is kind of a side note to what I'm talking about, but I feel like it's relevant, is that a retired F another retired FBI agent by the name of Joy Camp, um, uh, according to this book, was involved in a pretty salacious um, sexual relationship with a mafia turncoat named Cookie Durso. Uh, and Cookie claims that she was forcing him to sleep with her. Uh, her husband was like the head of the OC bureau in, in this New York office or head of the office altogether. And uh, she was kind of leveraging that to have an affair with him. But uh, she also was investigated by the FBI uh, Internal Affairs Division about erasing or removing the data about Joey Merlino from the New York mainframe. So Philadelphia, Miami couldn't see it. She was cleared of any wrongdoing, but she was investigated. So she was involved in that East Coast LCN case and investigating Joey Merlino. So I just wanted to keep people updated and let people know that that's the le that's the the heights that that some of these. Um, law enforcement units will go to, to to keep things close to the vest. And I'm not exactly sure what the motive was other than, I don't know if they worried that there was a leak uh, or if it was just, um, you know, a territory dispute. You know, this is our case. We're going to make the headlines. We're going to get the promotions and we don't want you butting your nose into it. So just giving you an update on uh, the rivalry between the New York FBI office and the Philadelphia FBI office related to Skinny Joy Merlino. OG Pod, I'm out.